Hello guys, welcome to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I'll show you how you can interface a stepper motor with Arduino Uno and control it both in clockwise direction as well as in anti-clockwise direction by increasing it in terms of steps. As you can see, I have a circle here which starts with 0 and increments with 256 like 256, 512, 768, 1024, 1280, 1000, 536, 1792 and all the way up to 2048. This means that I have to increment 2048 steps to make this stepper motor to complete one rotation. How did I calculate all these? All these description, all these details can be found in the link given in the description of this video. Now, as you can see in the hardware, I have an Arduino Uno on a BLDC driver module with four LEDs. These four LEDs indicate the four coils of the stepper motor. So now I'll show you by incrementing it by one. You actually can't see the stepper motor moving, but you can see the LEDs blinking like. Now the light is A, B, B, C, C, D. You can notice the LED lights. This is AB again. Okay, now I have just captured the image on my webcam and I have displayed it on my computer. So you can see the serial monitor of Arduino on the left side and the experimental setup on the right side. So whatever value I enter here, the stepper motor will respond accordingly. So I am just entering one to show you how the LED sequence is changing. So I just press one, enter, and the LED, and the stepper motor is actually taking one step each time I press enter. You actually can't visualize it. So if you have to rotate it in clockwise direction, you just enter the numbers. So anything from zero to 2048 will make it rotate in clockwise direction and you can send minus one as I'm sending right here to make it rotate in anti-clockwise direction. So whenever I send minus of a number, it will take that particular steps in the anti-clockwise direction. So this is how it works. You can enter any number from the serial monitor as I'm entering here and it will take that particular number of steps. Now let's try with some higher numbers like 256 maybe. So it is taking 256 steps in the clockwise direction as you can see and minus 256 will do it in the anti-clockwise direction the same number of steps that we entered. Now let's go to 1024. So it is taking 1024 steps as it, you can see in the chart it is moving from 0 to 1024. You can enter any number so uh, let me enter 512 now. and it is going from 1024 to 1536 so let's complete this rotation by entering another 512 and as you can see it's going all the way up to 2048 now you can enter any number you wish so let us try with some other number uh, let us try with 2048 and check if it is making a complete rotation and yes so this is how the project works guys Hope you understood it and the complete circuit diagram, the code and more explanation can be found in the description of this video. So that's it guys. Thank you.